Hey, I'm Wayne Sermon, and I play guitar for Imagine Dragons. My first introduction to Vox amplifiers, I guess visually would be watching the Beatles, <laughs> um, and I guess audibly too. I think uh, I don't ever remember not listening to Beatles music. I don't ever remember not knowing who they were. You know, my dad sort of like injected me uh, full of Beatles music. So, you know, obviously they're probably the best known example of using Vox amps. My first Vox was an AC30 uh, with the blues in it. I saved up uh, quite a bit for, for that. My dad helped me with the rest of the money. So it was, it was pretty transcendent to actually have the amp. For the recording process of Smoke and Mirrors, as far as the guitar parts, I. I think probably about 96% of the record is a Vox. Um, it's kind of cool, I was able to sort of simulate the studio, like I had a studio rig that I would send, uh, I had three AC30s, I would send left and right effects to, to two of them and then the center would be dry always. So, and that's pretty much what I did on all the smoke and mirrors. There's little exceptions, you know, sometimes I have like a little little combo here and there that for different sounds, but I, I generally would always come back to the AC30s. So I'm kind of fortunate that I was able to, to keep that rig and bring it on the road with me. So that's actually, I'm basically using the same rig I used to record, which is nice because I have that consistency of tone that, that most people don't have when they go on tour. So it's pretty exciting. I have, having tried a lot of amps, having tried a lot of different things, like for me, Vox is my sound. Like that's, that's the amp for me. That's like my voice. And I don't need to like keep searching anymore. Because I like, I finally like figured out, finally what I love to play on stage, what I love to play in the studio. So that's why I always was like gravitated to when I was a kid. So it makes sense. Maybe I was just it was just sort of bred into me. But that's that's my sound.